Hello world and welcome to a quick Azure vlog. I found something pretty, pretty cool on the internet and it's called ChatGPT. And ChatGPT is a intelligent open AI based chatbot, which could also write code, C sharp code, but also Cousteau query language, KQL query language. The query language is being used by Sentinel, Log Analytics, Azure Monitor, etc. So if we go to my desktop, we open the tab over here, you can see that I have a lot of syslog data in my Sentinel workspace. So let's ask ChatGPT a question. Can you write a KQL query for Sentinel that gives me all uh, syslog events. It's now thinking that may uh, may take a little bit. And this is exactly what you would expect. It just returned me syslog. So that's really on point. I copy this. And I'll put it into Sentinel. It gives me actually all the uh, syslog events. So that's exactly what I asked. Can you filter on events created by facility daemon? So let's see if it will extend our query with the filter. And look, it did write a KQL query again. I can copy that, paste it into Sentinel. And again, it is working. That's awesome. Let's ask a more intelligent question. So before I show you how ChatGPT is generating a more advanced uh, KQL query, uh, let me say that in this video, I only show the things that go well. I have asked a lot of KQL queries uh, to uh, ChatGPT and some of them were pretty spot on, but others were not. Uh, Azure Sentinel was not able to execute that KQL query because er, there was a column uh, in uh, in the query which is not in Sentinel or the syntax was not uh, that good. But I think it's a pretty good way to uh, learn KQL and see what, uh, what is happening. So let's now have a look at a more uh, advanced scenario. Can you write a KQL query that gives me all Windows logon events. So this is more interesting because now it also needs to know what the event ID, uh, etc. is. Still thinking about the KQL query, I guess. How cool is that? It knows that uh 4624 is the event number of logging in let's ask that question what is event id i think it's also targeting the interactive login that's really cool here it's the event ID for a successful login event. So I would suggest if you want to learn KQL, uh, just start with uh, chat GPT because it, it amazes me what results it brings. It looks pretty promising. Can you filter out all logins done by a normal user let's see what's doing 
the question that I'm asking to uh, chat GPT is quite weird because what is a normal user and does it still know my, uh, uh, my question that I asked uh, before over here? Okay. Interesting, interesting. Can you group all events by user? Unfortunately, I don't have a syslog uh, or a syslog, a uh, Windows event uh, forwarded to my in my Sentinel workspace. So I actually want to test this. If you have connected your uh, a, a Windows machine to Sentinel and you can test this, please let me know if this will work. Yeah, it's uh, doing a summarized count by user. Oh, amazing. So this is a thing that I uh, found on the internet and which I wanted to uh, to share with you. If you want to test it out for yourself, go to chat.openai.com. This is not a sponsored video. I just think this kind of technology is amazing. It's uh, It's pretty spot on. Sometimes it generates KQL queries, which are not so usable, but it's a great tool to learn uh, KQL, QSTO query language. And if you want to learn QSTO query language by using uh, chat GPT, I would suggest by starting with a small question, for example, give me all the syslog uh, events and then extend upon it. So you can see how chat GPT is altering the query extending it with uh, new commands and things. Uh, so you'll see what's happening, how the query is changing and see what keywords, etc., are being used. That being said, I hope you like this video. If so, subscribe to this channel, hit the thumbs up button, and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye. Mm -hmm.